All right, so I'm uh, going to be talking about uh, BFG Repo Cleaner. Uh, anybody who doesn't uh, know what that is, well, this is uh, we're going to go over it. Uh, so what use it? Well, uh, I'm sure that we've been into a situation where we've accidentally uh, uh, put a password into our code base, uh, a big file, maybe like a video that's like 10 gigabytes. Well, I guess it, that probably will get rejected, but maybe something uh, s smaller that'll uh, slow things down, uh, maybe some kind of client secret. Well, you can, of course, uh, delete that file, remove that password, but you know, Git is a permanent record and everything is in the history. So um, if you do have a sensitive uh, password or something that you can't change, maybe, uh, you know, I, for example, I put in an email address uh, accidentally a personal email address and my, just my personal email address. I wanted to remove it. Um, or for example, um, a zip file, you know, all those are stored in your history. Like if you keep committing a zip file, a SQL file, um, they'll just add up and pretty soon your repo will be like hundred megabytes. So, uh, you need to, uh, get rid of that. And a uh, way to do it is using a PFG. So, uh, one uh, command here is going to just, well, you're going to jump right into it, is going to be delete files, dash, dash, delete files. So you put in the file name and your repo folder. And uh, in this case, uh, we're using credit cards that SQL, uh, you know, obviously uh, uh, this would be a pretty big accident to accidentally put uh, credit cards in, in uh, GitHub. So hopefully you won't do that. Um, but this is how you, for example, delete that. Um, so another usage is going to be the dash dash replace text. And this is going to replace your password text with um, star star. They have some kind of default, uh, you know, string. And um, the way this thing is, is actually it's a file that you have to specify. So you're not actually, they don't want you to put your password text in the command line. So you actually have to make a file. And in that file, as you can see in the slide, um, is you have, um, just a line and then your password in each line. So first password is password one, two, three, uh, you know, obviously bad password, don't use that. Um, and then your next password is blah, blah, blah. And what that will do is it'll find and replace in all your Git, um, every branch, everything, and it will replace those strings of text. Um, of course, you can only have one in there. If you have one password, you can have more, you know, uh, that file name can be anything. And uh, that's, that's the syntax right there. Um, so that was that. Uh, watch out. One thing to keep in mind is that um, it does not modify your latest commit. Uh, this is a safety feature. Um, so uh, your, your latest files that you have will not actually modify. It will modify your history, just your history. So you, what you want to do first is first get rid of it from your most recent commit, and then you want to uh, run BFG to uh, cleanse the history. So um, of course you can actually override this behavior if you just uh, you know go for it. You don't want to bother with the uh, safety feature. You just want to boom, just uh, override everything. Um, you can use the no blob protection um, option, which will also do your current current files. Um, alternatives to BFG, well, there is Git filter branch, which is the uh, traditional approach. Unfortunately. There's just a lot of words here, a lot of text. You don't know what's going on because it's just all this stuff and um, better to have a wrapper around, uh, do, do it slightly different. And actually BFG is actually faster than uh, filter branch as well. Um, and this is just for deleting a file. It's a little bit more complicated to remove password. So full instructions uh, with BFG, you install it. You're gonna do a backup clone. You, you, know, you don't wanna accidentally delete something that you actually need. Uh, do it yourself first on the most recent commit. Um, run the BFG commands. You're going to push, uh, do a force push. Sometimes I, I've had issues with that. So uh, you can you can do a force push if you have issues. Uh, don't use your old copy anymore. Tell people, hey, uh, grab the new repo now. It's been cleaned up the new files. Don't use the old one because that may merge back in the files that you don't want. So uh, the uh, BFG uh, output is basically um, when you type in the command, you get something like this, BFG run is complete. Um, and then it wants you to run one more uh, git command, uh, which, will delete some, which will delete the files from your actual um, 
directory. Um, so uh, we're gonna go into the, actually this, this slide was supposed to be one slide later, uh, but uh, so installation. Um, so uh, installing it on a Mac is pretty easy. You're just gonna do uh, brew install BFG. On Windows, it's you have to actually go onto oracle.com, go to the XC, find the XC file, download it, um, and it is a Java file. So um, you uh, on Windows, you're gonna have to do java-jar and then bfg.jar, which is the download file that you get from the BFG website. Um, so the full command is you're gonna do git clone, um, and then you're gonna do the java-jar if you're on Windows and dash dash delete files, your file name you're going to delete. And uh, you are one step above, one directory above your repo. You, that's why you, you specify the repo name in there. And then after you're done, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna get this screen and it's gonna say, when ready, run this command. You're gonna run that command to delete the files from your local and then git push force. Um, I think the force uh, will, uh, make sure that you don't have merge conflicts, but git push will actually also work um, most of the time. Um, so uh, long story short, messed up your git, use BFG. So that's BFG repo cleaner for you. Awesome, thanks so much, Kevin. Can we please give Kevin a round of applause in the chat? I'm throwing mine in. Uh, that was great. Uh, we did have uh, some questions coming in, but if you do have questions, I think I forgot to mention last time, ask them in the chat. Uh, we'll get our speakers to answer them as they come in. Uh, so we did have a question. Uh, how do you handle when everybody else's history has changed? Oh, sorry, as everybody else's history no longer matches master now that you've uh, changed your history. How do you deal with that? Yeah, so it is a problem. You have to tell everybody, hey, I'm running BFG. Uh, everybody throw away, I mean, you know, uh, download the repo again. And if you have any commits, you're going to have to manually uh, put them in. Um, if you don't uh, fix that, and if you don't tell anybody and somebody's pushing, what, what's going to happen is it's going to reintroduce the uh, other branches back in, and you'll still have them there. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the uh, answer to that question. I just jumped off the stream for a sec. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know how to use my mouse properly. Uh, so I actually did have a question. Like, I'm sort of curious. What caused you to use uh, BFG? Because like, I'm sure there's a story there somewhere. Uh, well, I've actually had to use it a few times now. The first time is uh, I accidentally, com uh, my GitHub got hacked actually somehow. Uh, long story, but uh, yeah, I've used a secure password, two-factor, all that. And uh, second story is that uh, I just was committing a bunch of zip files into my uh, Git for a long time, and they added up, and then it turned into like hundred megabytes. So yeah, it, it, it tends to do that after a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know. Like sometimes, like it's fun playing code archaeology when you're like digging through. Like, why does this one person have like three million lines committed, and then you see they like committed a zip file or committed like a CSV file to just sort of like undo it somehow. Oh, uh, but yeah, I, I sort of had like another piece of advice. Like if you commit a password to Git, uh, just change that password. That's yeah. going to be like a lot easier. Like uh, it's just uh, trying to change history. Like I'm sure there's like, but yeah, that's that's just sort of my out there. Uh, and let's see, Boyan S is the acronym a Doom reference. We're just going to ignore that and just say, yeah. Uh, but before we do let you go, uh, do you have any uh, words of wisdom or calls to action for a community? Um, yeah, I mean, just uh, hang in there. Uh, a good time to uh, get some more practice in uh, with your coding. Um, yeah, uh, come to the algo sig. Yeah, I mean, we're we're going to be pitching the algo sig. If you have not gone to the algo sig, you got to go. Like, it's fantastic experience it's getting practicing. Uh, practice doing those kinds of questions you never really see at work. But so for some reason, you have to do them for getting a job. But yeah, that's neither yeah, here or there. All right, true. cool. Thanks so much, Kevin. Uh, we'll see you around.